I'm seeing some blue skies looks on nice, that big right? old screen right now. It looks good. Yeah, some places, though, not dealing with as much sunshine, but I do think everybody at least gets a chance of seeing some sunshine. sunshine. That's, all That's all you need, right? Yes. Especially after the way this week has been. All morning long, we've had a lot of those showers and storms moving through, but I think we start to see a little more of this as we go through the rest of the day today into tomorrow as well. But right now in downtown Tampa, we've got mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. No doubt about it, it's still humid. Dew points around 75 degrees, making it feel like 95. This helps though, winds out of the southwest around 13 miles per hour, making that 86 degrees feel a little bit more comfortable. But this morning, man, it was raining hard in some spots. Some places picking up an inch to nearly two inches of rain. In fact, you head down into the, the heart of the bay, our radar estimating nearly two and a half inches of rain coming down. It wasn't just the rain, but it was a lot of lightning as well. In fact, a, a lightning bolt struck a bank in Dunedin, one of the SunTrust banks up in uh, Dunedin caught on fire because of a lightning strike right around 945, the time of the report coming in. So obviously a, a wet and, and a, an electric morning as well. Still a, a wet afternoon, tracking some showers and some storms moving through Lakeland or rather Land Lakes right now. A couple of bolts of lightning here or there. The main thing with this system is going to be the heavy rainfall over near Lakeland, tracking from Willow Oak to Medulla, eventually into the Lakeland area. This storm has a lot more lightning with it. And here's the thing that's concerning with this system. A lot of lightning strikes are beginning to happen outside of the parent thunderstorm. So we're talking about three, four, five miles away from the storm. This happens. That's why we say when you can hear the thunder, you can be struck by lightning. In this case right here, we're finding actually a lightning bulk strut near Plant City, even though that storm is in Willow Oak. So be careful this afternoon. Those storms are going to continue to have a lot of lightning with them, but I do think they begin to die down. Even though we have a few more storms out in the Gulf of Mexico, all the rain that we had this morning has really worked over the atmosphere. So I think there's a smaller chance of rain as we go through the second half of the afternoon into the evening. In fact, Futurecast picking up on that idea as well, reducing that chance of rain as we go through the evening hours. Still some lingering clouds, and we can't rule out a stray shower or thunderstorm, but overall, I think smaller rain chances through the second half of the day. As we go into the overnight, maybe a coastal shower into early tomorrow morning, otherwise mainly dry conditions with partly cloudy skies. And then tomorrow afternoon, not much. Looking pretty good, a 30, maybe 40% chance for some inland storms. Otherwise, looking at a nice day, especially along the beaches tomorrow afternoon. Seven day forecast uh, will give us temperatures in the upper 80s for this afternoon as we go through the rest of the night. Storms gradually dying down. There's the seven day. 92 degrees tomorrow afternoon, 30% chance of rain, and then a 50 to 60% chance for those scattered afternoon storms. Not a washout this weekend, just that chance for afternoon showers and thunderstorms.